code explains says hi. Today we're going to talk about the string object in JavaScript. So I'm going to cover all the 34 string methods and the one property of a string in JavaScript. Well, this is going to be a series. So I'm going to upload each day a video about a method or two. And then when I finish the series, I'm going to join all the videos and upload them as a single video. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when the video is uploaded. Now, without further ado, let's go and start our tutorial. First, let's talk about how to create a string in JavaScript. To create a string, you need to use double quotes or single quotes or the back text, and then your string value and then you can assign this to a constant or variable. Well, you can also create a string using the string object or constructor with the new keyword and then inside the parentheses your string value and then you can assign this to a constant or variable. Well, the difference here is this is a string object so you can have access to the string object properties and methods while this is not an object, so you don't have access to those methods and properties. But don't worry, JavaScript will automatically convert it to a string object. So now you have access to those methods and properties and that's what we're going to talk about in this tutorial. So the string object here has one property which is length and lots of properties. Well, some of them are still in the experimental phase and some are deprecated. And we're not going to cover those. So this leaves us with 34 methods and one property. So let's go and talk about the property length first. Well, if you go and create a string and then assign to a const or a variable str, now, if you have, for example, a text editor like VS Code, when you say str then a dot, VS Code will suggest all the uh, properties and methods you can access for the string object. Now, if I say str dot length, now I can access the property length of our string here. Now, the length property here is basically how many characters are in your string. So, for example, here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then 14. So, the length of my string here is 14. So simple. And now, something I want to discuss before we dive into the methods is how to access a string character. So, sometimes you want to access a specific character in your string. So for that, you need to use your string as if it were an array. So you need to say string, then open the square brackets and then inside the index of the character you want to access. So strings are like arrays. They are also zero index based. So this means that the first character in your string index is zero. So for example, if I say here string, then the square brackets and then zero, the index, this will return the character C, the first character in our string. And if I say string, then the index five, this will turn zero, one, two, three, four, five, the character E in this case. And now sometimes you want to access the last character in a string. In that case, you need to use the string that length. But the string that length here is 14. And because this is zero based index, so the last character's index is 13. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, which means that the last character's index is all the time for any string is the string that length minus one. So in this case, this will return the last character, which is T. And that's how you can access the last character in a string. And now let's move into the first string method in this tutorial. The first method is car at. And this is used to access a single character in a string. For the syntax, you need to say string that car at, and this takes in a single parameter, which is the index of the character you want to access. Let's see some examples. 
If I have a string, then assign this to a const string. Now you can access a single character using the square brackets like we saw before. So if I say string, then the index five, this will return the character E. Now the same thing goes for the car add. So we just need to say string, my string here, my const string, then dot car add, and then I need to pass in the index, for example, five. And this will return the character E, the same result we got in this example here. And that's how you can use the car add method to access a character in your string. And now let's move on to the next method.